I'll be starting off this video with Dollar Tree spoons. This is a requested video on how to use spoons from the Dollar Tree to make something decorative for the home. These particular spoons have a stylish design, so I will be using this one with some other spoons from the Dollar Tree as well. The first idea for this DIY will be to make sconces with the spoons. I'll overlap the spoons like this, and I'll be using a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun to keep them firmly bonded together. I'll do the same thing for the other spoons. Now I'm going to be adding the lighting and I'll be using push lights that uses a remote control to make it easy to turn the lights on and off. I'll be adding silver plastic spoons from the Dollar Tree to the Waltz Cones design. I'll be gluing two of the spoons like this. I'll need another one that's exactly like this. So what I'm gonna do is have two spoons arranged and glued on top of the other one just to make sure that I have the exact same design. I'll be gluing these on top of the handles of the spoons, but because they're touching each other at the tip, I'm gonna be cutting off the parts where they meet to make sure that they lay flat on the handles. I used hot glue to keep the spoons in place and then I covered up the rough edges with crystal buttons. And because I just didn't want the crystal button to be at the middle, I also added them to the little silver plastic spoons as well. I'll be removing the top part of the push lights to add a silver detail to it. And I cut a little strip from a mirror reflective paper to use around the push lights. A silver washi tape can also be used for this. I'll be mounting these on the wall with command strips. And the command strips that I'm gonna be using is the one that can hold a lot of weight. And this can hold up to 16 pounds. Now there are other command strips that hold less weight and this holds five pounds. I'll be using the one that holds 16 pounds because whenever it's a little bit heavy, I usually prefer the one that can hold up to 16 pounds just to be safe. Moving on to the next design, I'll be using the same spoons from the Dollar Tree to make a decorative item, starting with foam boards that I'm gonna be cutting to the size that I want for the project. I need a perfect square, and then I'm gonna be using that square to cut out a circle from the square that I'll be needing for the project. I'll be covering up the opening at the back of this board that I'm using 
to stop it from folding. Now this is a used foam board, that's why I'm doing all this. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is cover up the board with mirror reflective paper. And after it's been covered, I'm gonna carve out a little hole in the middle where I'm gonna be gluing on a mirror to it. I'm removing the middle part so that the mirror is attached to the board and not to the mirror reflective paper. Now I'm going to go ahead to glue on the Dollar Tree spoons around the mirror. The last three spoons were kind of tight and didn't have space in between them, but that's okay because it won't be too noticeable when it's on the wall. I flipped this over and added a twine to the back that will be used to mount it on the wall. This design made the spoons look too obvious that they are spoons, so I decided to just use the smaller spoons that are plastic from the Dollar Tree. And all I did was to snap off the heads and then using just that alone to add to the design that I already have. I used the spoons to cover up the middle of the larger spoons and also to cover up the edges of the round board that's under the large spoons. This is what this piece looks like on a wall. This is what the matching wall sconces look like besides the mirror. This is really bright at night, which makes it not only just decorative, but functional as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.